Hello again, everyone. It's Abra, and I'm back to review The Chenu by Graham Nolan. Okay, so this is The Chenu, and this was uh, the cover by Graham Nolan. I really like Graham's take on uh, the abominable snowman. Of course, he has to uh, put his spin on it, and he makes it really interesting. So I was really excited to get on this one because this kind of kicked off the Nolan verse. So obviously I wanted to see where it all began. And so when the story begins, it's 2020, there's a bad snowstorm. You have these two gentlemen that are out ice fishing and this kind of sets up the mood. Right away we see that the Chinu is not messing around. He makes quick work of several people here. You can see that Graham does not shy away from uh, demonstrating just how violent the monster is. The monster is out for blood. And again, you can see just the black and white art, but it's accentuated with the red. The blood is red, so that really stands out. And I, I thought that was a really cool effect that Graham included in the book. I feel like with the story, it helped accentuate the gore without actually, you know, being more graphic with the details and everything. There's a police officer that ends up investigating an abandoned vehicle or what appears to be an abandoned vehicle. And he finds that there is a poor little dog left behind. So he goes to rescue the dog and discovers some blood on the dog's collar. So that's obviously not a good sign there. It's, a, it's an indication that something is a foul. Later on, he ends up meeting a woman who works at a restaurant called Timmy Ho's, which seems like it's paying homage to uh, Tim Hortons, a popular Canadian donut chain. She witnesses a customer getting brutally taken by the Chinu, and she's horrified. She ends up running out and she stops the police officer. He decides to bring her into the cruiser, says, you know, come with me, I'll take your statement down at the station. And so they are on their merry way. Unfortunately, on the way, they end up being stopped by the snow. It just gets so intense and brutal that they can't continue on. They come upon this house and they decide to seek refuge there um, because it's really bitterly cold outside and they're trying to get warm. And they're greeted at the house by a family and they are sheltering some other people. They're worried about the Chinoo, but they think if they can hold out long enough for the storm to pass, that everything should be fine. So this kind of tells the story about what happens, you know, how they're trying to survive inside. Meanwhile, the Chinoo is out there and there are things that kind of force them to have to go outside and confront the Chinoo. And um, so that's, that's the story essentially in a nutshell. You have this cursed creature that has a thirst for blood and is just savagely going out and indiscriminately murdering anyone it comes across. The eyes of the monster, the sound effects from the monster as it's murdering people, and, and obviously the blood are all in red. And I just, I think that complements the story really well. This is a complete story and it sets the tone for the type of stories that will be part of Graham Nolan's, what is now known as the Nolan verse. The art of course is excellent. The dialogue and the story is good. I feel like it, it felt natural. It flowed really well. The story progresses subtly, but it doesn't feel short or rushed. I think he did a really good job of, of pacing everything. And it was just really fun. It does leave you with questions, but um, it, it's a complete tale, which, which I really enjoyed. And um, I think anyone who just picked this up would definitely enjoy enjoy the read. The cool thing about the Chinu is that when it's in the present time, one of the characters tells a story of how he's heard legends of the Chinu and how his parents were slaughtered by the beast on the day that he was born. And at the conclusion of the story, it goes back to 1977 and you see the, the night of this character's birth 43 years earlier. So I thought that was kind of a nice uh, tie-in kind of help bring the story full circle. Graham also included the the very first drawing. He has some extras in the back of the book. So he has the very first drawing of the Chinoo, how he kind of came up with some of the, the looks for the character. He also included the main cover and some other art in here. So I, I always 
appreciate little goodies like that. Graham is known for, for quality at this point, but for his first uh, Comicsgate crowdfunded book, I thought this was excellent. In addition to the Chanu comic, Graham recently released a Chanu plushie. It's really cute, soft. Uh, it's a good size here. <laughs> so it was made in America, which I really appreciate. Uh, that's really important to Graham. This can kind of cuddle with him. It's great for kids, but I also I had fun with it. Kind of cutesy. It includes a little heart. This uh, was a great present for uh, Christmas time or Valentine's Day. And if you missed it then, I believe Graham still has some available on his website. I would definitely recommend it. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, take care. Rawr. <laughs>